doing a video on the bolts by Keras Custom, the G2 version. Basically, I picked this pen up just before Christmas. They had a big sale. I bought one, got it home, wrote with it, just to see if I liked it, liked it so much, I picked up another one. So now I have two. I can use it at work in my uniform, having two matching pens, and I really like what's going on with this pen. I like the construction of the pen, all aluminum. Keras Customs takes pride in bringing you solid construction products like they don't make them that old saying, they don't make them like they used to, they're trying to make them that way. All, all aluminum body, every part in here is aluminum, there's no plastic. The only plastic is, is the cartridge. The G2 cartridge that I chose to buy, because this is the G2 version. They make another version that takes the Fisher Space Pen cartridge, or the Cross cartridge. This is the G2 one, it does come with a converter, which is just a plastic tube, but will allow you to use that if you do so desire to use that particular cartridge. I'm satisfied with the G2 because they're a little bit cheaper. I think you get more ink and I like the way it writes better anyways. But on that note, it's a, as I said, all aluminum body, solid clip, solid clicker, or I guess you would say rotator bolt action. It's not a click pen, click style, but you have to rotate the bolt to get it to work, hence the name, the bolt. This pen has been around for quite some time. This is the second version, and um, I think the first version you could unscrew the bolt cap. This one I don't think you can. I could be wrong. I think it's all one solid piece here, but I could be wrong. I don't think this one you can take apart. I believe the first version you can. The only other thing I can say is I've been greatly impressed with the uh, three or four months that I've been using it. Uh, I've kind of retired all my other pens and I use these at work all the time. The only other Keras Custom pen I have is this one I did a video on quite some time ago. Uh, this is the fountain pen I picked up from them, titanium nib, copper grip section, all aluminum body was very impressed with this pen. I do a lot of writing with this pen. Actually, I think the ink that I have in here is actually empty. Or I need to refill it up. Yeah, because I think I ran it dry the last time I used it and haven't replaced the cartridge. There's a little bit left, but it got to the point where I couldn't write with it anymore. But uh, one of my favorite fountain pens, I just love the construction of it, the feel of it, the ruggedness of it, the classic look of it. It uh, really appeals to me. And uh, the same thing with these, it's um, greatly impressed. I think Keras Custom is going to take the pen industry by storm just by the materials they use, the quality they're using. And uh, a lot of people think they're a little bit on the pricey side, but with their competitors out there, they're nowhere near their prices like Parker, uh, Pelican, uh, Mont Blanc, Cross, these pens are relatively cheap when you look at the spectrum of what those pens cost. Uh, and I've been known Visconti, all these high level companies that are using resins and plastic materials and charging $500 to $1,000 for their pens. We got a pen here that's relatively $70 and I would say is up there with the best of them just by the quality and construction of the build of the pen. So there you, go, there you go, guys, my opinion on Keras Customs, the Bolt G2, and the company itself in a whole. I think Keras Custom is a great company, great custom pen maker. I see probably a good future in this industry with the quality of what they're putting out. I'm definitely a fan of them. I hope they continue on, and I wish them the best. They make a great product. I love what they do. Take it easy, guys.